Hey class, um, I, I wanted to help you out with this assignment that you have due on Thursday. Um, so this is the DNA profiling assignment, aka Anna, Anna Nicole's baby, uh, the Anna Nicole's baby problem. Um, so this is a summary and if you try to just use my summary you're gonna fail miserably. Um, so you do really need to go through this whole assignment carefully so that you really understand uh, what's going on, all the background concepts. Um, you're going to need to read that carefully or you'll get tripped up. There's several videos you need to watch. Um, but I wanted to orient you to this section here, the making a baby. So <clears throat> in this court case, uh, we want to find out who the parent is of a baby. So in an actual court case, you would of course just go sample the baby's DNA to do the test. Um, but as an added bonus for this assignment, um, so that we can get a better idea of your understanding of how uh, a sperm and egg come together to make a baby, we're actually going to have you put together a random combination from these two parents to create the baby's uh, genotype. Okay, so let me orient you to uh, what we have here. So as I said, these are two parents that you're going to use to put together a uh, gamete for a baby. Um, and so uh, the, we, you have some information in here. Um, this is, uh, I, I'm not even going to call it a gene. And so, like I said, you have to read the whole lesson to understand why I'm going to call this a locus, not a gene. Um, but this is a locus. This is a, a place on chromosome number two. For example, this one's called the TPOX. It's on chromosome number two. And uh, one other bit of information you need to know is this 248 BP. That's the size of the, this TPOX. Um, so, so both of the TPOX in this individual are 248 base pairs. If you look down here at this individual, they have a TPOX that's 232 base pairs long, and this one's 224 base pairs long. So essentially three different alleles, these two are the same, but three different alleles for TPOX on chromosome two. You go over here, you're on chromosome five, it's a different uh, locus. Okay, so anyway, <clears throat> you know that when uh, a, a parent contributes either a sperm or an egg, they don't contribute both of their alleles for, for any given uh, gene locus. So um, when you're putting together two um, a sperm and an egg to make a gamete, you need to take only one TPOX from this parent, only one DS, D, let's see, D5S818 from this parent, only one D7, and so on from this parent and then only one of each of these from this parent and then you'll take those and you'll put them down here and and like I said we would just go out and get the baby's DNA for an actual court case but here you're going to put together a random assortment of these and these to make the baby and this just shows how robust this method is you can randomly make a uh, hundred babies and every single one of them would work for this problem um, you'd be able to assign the parents um, but what you do is you take, like let's say I pick this one, this E, um, it's on chromosome 13, um, but how you put it into this chart depends on the length of it. So since this one's 169 BP, 169 base pairs long, I go down on the electrophoresis gel to 169, and I drop it in right here. Okay, and you'll read about why these fragments end up at different places. It's all about the size of the fragment, um, but, but uh, I just wanted to help you, give you sort of a visual uh, understanding of how to do that. So um, I hope that helps. Send me any questions, and um, like I said, it's going to take a little time. You need to read through that whole lesson and watch the videos, so make sure you don't get started too late because it, it is complicated and you've got questions to answer along with just doing this uh, copy and paste bit.